Hello everybody, Dr. Rick here. Uh, <clears throat> I am going to do the best I can to be succinct uh, and brief and to the point on this. Um, before I get started, don't forget to support our work. If you believe in the work we've done for over 30 years, if you follow me, you know the work from Black Men Lead to our work with battered women uh, and victims of incest and uh, advocacy in school districts and in uh, for incarcerated individuals recidivism and so much more uh, if you believe in that work we need your support none of that stuff happens uh, from osmosis or wishful thinking it comes at the work and effort and cost of the people involved and we need your support it's real simple uh, something that a person that I've admired I've actually had a chance to work with briefly uh, matter of fact he and his wife, uh, Joanne, were instrumental in reviewing the Blueprint 1.0, which is on the Odyssey Project website, which is a comprehensive blueprint and objective agenda of protocols necessary to execute black empowerment, and that is Dr. Claude Anderson. Uh, one thing that Dr. Anderson has said for I don't know how long is that blacks love to major in the minor. And it's a catchy phrase and it can be over applied and over thing, but like at the end of the day, so many times when I'm sitting up and I'm observing something and I'm looking at the way my people is my people are responding to it. The first thing that comes to mind is majoring in the minor. The things that we will give our attention to, while ignoring the, and while ignoring certain other things, is absolutely baffling and flabbergasting to me. It's it's like we are or have to be the easiest people in the world to manipulate. I'm not saying that at the, in the grand scheme of things that the vast majority of people aren't being manipulated at some level because they are. You can't be exposed to influences. If you're on the grid, at some level you are being manipulated and pushed. Even if you're being pushed heavily towards something that ultimately might benefit you, you're being manipulated. You may not be moving in the way that they want you to move, but you're being moved because of something they're doing. And but 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 nobody is easy as easy to manipulate and control as us. Give us a celebrity with some gossip. Attack one of our favorite celebrities. Um, even though we don't know the celebrity, even though the celebrity has never done anything of intrinsic value. Maybe they gave us some great work on the screen or they gave us some great work in the studio. Or maybe they designed some great fashion or whatever it is, but they've never actually touched our lives in any way but to go after them and see what happens. And I, I, I'm not one for sitting up saying you sit around and you let people get assaulted and attacked for no reason. What I'm saying is those are the things that are going to be influencing how well we do or how we advance. We will go all out. Entertain us. Give us some music. Give us something to dance to. Give us a good fight video. Show us. I mean, man, we rode the hell out of it. And it was funny. It was good for uh, a feel-good moment. The whole uh, uh, riverboat brawl thing, you know, and all of that. But at the end of the day, guess who ended up uh, still with the power? Guess who ended up still having to fight and struggle and do things three times as good to get the same amount of leverage? And it's us. And at some point in time, it stops being about them. And and that's the thing. I think that one thing that slavery did, I think slavery and the things that follow that nobody likes to talk about that I have done a great deal of research and written on extensively. And that is the following injury after slavery that nobody likes to talk about. Everybody likes to sit up and say, it's been 150 years. Back when I first started my research, it's been 119, 120 years. What, you know, why are you still complaining? It's time to get over. But what people don't want to talk about are the injuries that came after the the major injury, the micro injuries, 12 years of uh, reconstruction where it was probably a hundred times more dangerous to be black in the South then than it was as a slave. 
uh, talk about black codes where they stopped us from owning land and taking certain jobs. Talk about convict leasing where they uh, criminalized poverty and homelessness and, and, and joblessness and made it a felony and kept men in prison, black men in prison for 12 years for not having a job, for being homeless, and then leased them back out to the uh, very plantations and companies that were using their free labor as slaves. And I can go on redlining where they consistently kept us out of the mechanism of home ownership uh, and, and, and the ability to develop and build wealth. The, the massacres that happened in places like Tulsa, Oklahoma, Slocum, Texas, Rosewood, Florida, uh, Wilmington, uh, North Carolina, and in and, and, and East St. Louis and other places that uh, nobody ever talks about but we know actually took place. And we could talk about uh, benign neglect and urban renewal and mass incarceration and gentrification and miseducation. And I've written on all this. We can talk about that stuff and I get it. Over time, what it has done is it's made us perpetual victims. So we've become unbelievably astute at pointing fingers. We've become unbelievably astute at placing blame. The problem with that is when you place blame, you give power. When you sit up and say, this is happening because of that person, then you need that person to change. And that's not how you affect change in a life where you are being uh, oppressed and you, you're being held back. You have to be willing to seize power. And to seize power, you have to take action. You can't expect the person with power to equip you and empower you to overcome them. You have to be willing. And we're too busy being uh, entertained. We're too busy engaging gossip. We're too busy. And I know this because I consistently, year in and year out, conduct studies where I'll do uh, content on things that if you just follow some of that content, your life's gonna change, the community you live in is gonna change. 15, 20, 100, if I'm lucky, 200 people watch it. I get up and I talk about a celebrity, 2,000 views, 3,000 views. I've had one that went 10,000. I got one that's at 100,000 because it's about some celebrity, the Dr. Phil thing. And and and, it, and it's it's ridiculous when you think about the fact that none of that stuff has intrinsic value, I mean that it brings nothing to you that you can really use to change your life, sustain your life, grow your life. And, 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 and all it does is sit up and distract you, take your energy, take your time. And, but it is a good form of escapism though. It is a great form of escapism. And, and, and that's what we love. We want to get away from it. We want to pretend that nothing's wrong, that we have finally made it, that everything is great. And the truth of the matter is we're majoring in the minor. We're caught up in the things that do very little. And we don't want to give any time to the significant things. We have a 49% spike in black male suicide ages 14 to 24. We have an increase of about 15 to 80% of black males over the age of 25. We have our black girls ages 5 to 13 leading and suicide in that age group uh, among all other uh, uh, racial groups. We have a situation where uh, the median income for black men and women is the lowest among all uh, at, at, at 44,000 for men and 42,000 for women and yet we are sitting up and all you see up and down social media is everybody talking about can he pay all the bills. If we are we really being honest with ourselves? Because if we are being honest with ourselves, if unless the bills are under forty two thousand dollars a year, hell no. But that's not what we're putting out there because you can be anything on social media. You can sit up there and put it on blast. You can sit up there and go on one vacation and have multiple outfits, take multiple pictures, and come back and post that shit like you've been on five vacations all year long. The stuff that we do to appear like we've advanced takes almost as much work as it takes to actually advance, but we're focused on the wrong thing. We're focused on the image we're presenting to other people. We're out buying them and say, do you realize that 
the, the wealth gap is somewhere along the line of $177,000 for median household income for whites compared to $17,000 for blacks, and yet we out purchase Mercedes two to one. We, they're, they're, they have millionaires driving Toyotas. And we, we have $60,000 earners and $50,000 earners buying Mercedes. We, 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 we have got everything so backwards. And you can't tell us anything. We got all the answers. We'll sit up and go out. Our, our, our youth are completely out of control, entitled, lost. And they're constantly pumping this poison through music into the ears and hearts of our youth. And we don't know what to do about it because we haven't sit down, we haven't looked at the research, we haven't looked at the studies, we haven't looked at how their minds are responding to it. We don't understand it and we're just sitting up and we're going through the motions of complaining and placing blame. It's, stop. it's time to stop majoring in the minor. It's time to stand up and go out there and put some things in order. It's time to stand up and do something beyond complain and it's in our hands, but the question is, what are we gonna do? As much as I can to the extent that I can, I have put so much of my own resources into things that I have put certain things in jeopardy that I will no longer do, but I will consistently go out there and fight to the extent that I can. Um, I'm going to put a challenge out. I'm going to put some of the responsibility on the people out there that are sitting around and you know looking look it's time to step up if you're not going to be one of the people on the front line support the people who are if you're not going to be able to sit down and put in hours and hours and hours of research to gain an understanding of the best way to create solutions for certain situations support the people who are it's that simple you're not going to sit up and click and like your way into a better situation for blacks But on that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I need to unwind. It has been an immensely long week for me uh, in so many different ways. So I'm going to get somewhere and sit down and relax. You guys have a great one.